hello friends welcome to my channel the art zone today i have come up with a new video of this beautiful butterfly you can see this it's quite simple i hope you like this video so let's start the video before starting the video i would request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell button and give your suggestion in comment section let's begin with the video we are going to make this butterflies with Wendy Love It Double Knitting Yarn. I'll make these butterflies with 3mm crochet hook. So first of all we'll make a magic ring like this. Insert the hook into this ring and take out the yarn from here. And now we'll make 8 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After making eight chains, you can see this. Now we'll turn the chains here. You can see this. Here we have these loops. So first of all, let me show you the loops. Now insert the hook into this loop. So first of all, insert the hook into this loop. And take a loop from here now we have two loops on crochet hook insert the hook into next chain and take a loop from here one two three insert the hook into next loop like this insert the hook into next loop insert the hook into next loop One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then here we have the last loop. So insert the hook into this loop and make a new loop from here. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have eight loops on crochet hook. After making this eight loops, then insert the hook into this ring and take a loop from here. And now yarn over pull through first two loops then pull through second two loops then yarn over pull through next two loops 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 and here we have the last two loops so yarn over and pull through last two loops with this pattern he will make first round for next round you can see this again here we have these one two three four five six seven seven chains so first of all insert the hook into first loop and take a loop from here then make a 
slip stitch after doing this now insert the hook into next loop and take a loop from here then insert the hook into next loop take a loop from here then next loop take a loop from here then next loop take a new loop from here then insert the hook into next loop take a new loop from here and insert the hook into last loop and make last loop from here and now we have one two three four five six seven seven loops on crochet hook now insert the hook into the ring yarn over and pull through then yarn over pull through these two loops yarn over pull through next 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 two loops and yarn over pull through next two loops then yarn over and pull through last two loops after completing this now here we have the first loop with this pattern we will make it loose so first of all insert the hook into first loop and make a slip stitch with this pattern we will decrease a loop in each round then insert the hook into next loop Make a new loop from here. One, two. Next, three, four, five, and six. After making six loops, now insert the hook into the ring and take a loop from here. Yarn over, pull through these two loops. One, two. Three, four, five, six. For next, insert the hook into first loop and first of all make a slip stitch. Then next, make a loop from here. One, two. Three, four, and five. After making these five loops, now insert the hook into the ring and now yarn over, pull through these two loops one, two, three, four, and five. This pattern will make last. Five loops and now insert the hook into first loop make a slip stitch then next loop make a slip stitch then next loop make a slip stitch three next loop slip stitch four and make last slip stitch from this ring insert the hook into the ring and make last slip stitch stitch from here with this pattern we have completed first part now we'll make the bottom part of the butterfly like this for this we have to make one two three and four after making four chains insert the hook into the back loop you can see this here we have these loops and make a new loop from here insert the hook into next loop and make a new loop from here one two three then next four now insert the hook into this ring and make one loop from here now we are over pull through these two loops 
pull through these two loops these two loops and these two loops after making this you can see this here we have one two three three loops so first of all insert the hook into first loop then make a loop from here like this insert the hook into next loop and make a loop from here insert the hook into next loop and make a loop from here after making these four loops insert the hook into this ring and make a new loop from here then yarn over pull through these two loops these two loops these two loops and last two loops after making this then again here we have the first loop and now we'll make a slip stitch in each loop insert the hook into the loop and make a slip stitch next slip stitch next slip stitch then insert the hook into the ring and make a slip stitch from here with this pattern we have completed one side of butterfly you can see this we have completed these two parts for next we have to repeat this pattern make four chains one two three four after making four chains now I'll repeat this pattern Flip the chains, insert the hook into first loop and make a new loop from here. Insert the hook into next loop. Then make a new loop from here. Insert the hook into last loop. Make a loop from here. Then insert the hook into this ring and make a loop from here now we have five loops on crochet hook so pull through these two loops these two loops these two loops and these two loops then again insert the hook into this loop make a loop from here next loop from here make a loop from here then insert the hook into the ring and pull through these two loops these two loops these two loops and last two loops now make a slip stitch in each loop one two three then make a last slip stitch from this ring like this and now we have to make five chains one two three four and five after making five chains now flip the chains insert the hook into first loop and make a new loop from here now we have two loops on crochet hook insert the hook and make a loop three four and five after making five loops now insert the hook into the ring and make a loop from here now yarn over pull through these two loops these two loops these two loops these two loops and these two loops and now here we have a little bit change in the pattern in this round we have to increase a chain for this we have to make a new chain from here and now flip the chains and make a loop into each loop one two Three, 
फोर फाइव सिक्स आफ्टर मेकिंग सिक्स लूप्स नो इन सेट द हुक इन टू द रिंग लाइक दिस देन यान ओवर पुल थ्रू दिस टू लूप्स 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 एंड लास्ट टू लूप्स Then again, make a new chain. Now insert the hook into this loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After making seven loops, insert the hook into the ring. Yarn over. Pull through these two loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Next, make a chain. Insert the hook into first loop. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we have eight loops on crochet hook. So insert the hook into the ring and pull through these two loops. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Now insert the hook into first loop. Make a slip stitch. Then next loop, slip stitch. Now you'll close the feather. Make a slip stitch into each loop. Insert the hook into this ring and make last slip stitch from here. With this pattern, we have completed the butterfly. Now cut the yarn, and you can see this. Here we have the tail. So pull this tail and close the ring like this. We have completed the butterfly. You can see this. It's quite simple, as you can see this. I hope you will like this video. We'll meet you soon with a new video. Till then, goodbye.